Okay, this lesson is about friction. Now, what is friction? Well, friction basically is a force that opposes movement, but there are some qualifiers to that. Uh, for one, friction is a contact force. And what does that mean? That means that in order to there to be a force of friction, it is a force, would be you have to be in contact with something. So the, the best example of that would be a block laying on a table, and then somebody pushing the block. The block and the table are in contact, and that, that contact is where the force of friction arises from. So it's a, it's a contact force, and it's a rubbing force. Okay, the, you know, there's movement between there, or there's an attempted movement between these two surfaces, these two contacting surfaces. Now, the force of friction also opposes movement, and that's a key fact. Uh, the direction of friction is opposite the direction that the object is trying to move. So if you're trying to push this object this way, then the force of friction is in that direction opposing movement. Now there are two types of friction. There's what we call static friction, which is a friction when there's no actual movement, just an attempt at movement. So there are, there are unbalanced forces, or there's an unbalanced force, and then the force of static friction opposes it. And in this lecture, I will use the subscript S to represent static. And then there's the force of moving friction or sliding friction. There's a few